Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Google Pixel XL. Let's get into it. You can see here my version is the 5.5 inch 32 gig in quite black. Gonna need our handy dandy Italian toothpick knife to get into it. And there she is in all her glory. Good presentation. We've got our USB-C power adapter and our USB-C charging cable. The Google phone itself. Go ahead and set that aside for a second. Looks like they've given us another power cable. That's cool, we got two of them. And an adapter. It's like a USB 2.0 or 3.0 to USB-C. And inside we got here our get started guide, our SIM tray removal tool. Meet your personal Google Assistant. Thanks, merci, gracias. <laughs> now I got the 32 gig over the 128 because they didn't have any 128s in stock by the time that I went to go look for it. First impressions, the phone feels really solid. Nice aluminum build. I like the feel of it. Nice metal. The glass feels almost sticky. Feels good though. Doesn't feel cheap in any way. Edges are not sharp, which is good. I didn't like that on some of the HTC models where they were so sharp and thin that it would actually dig into your hand, but time will tell power buttons it's actually textured so you can feel that right away over the up and down volume rockers up here we got the infamous headphone jack here's our sim tray and on the bottom we've got two bottom facing speakers and a USB-C our touch to unlock our flash camera multiple sensors and mics and let's go ahead and turn her on. Let's go. We'll skip that for now. So unlock with fingerprint. It's on the back of your phone, okay. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. It's a nice, beautiful screen. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I set all my apps up on it. So here's what it looks like now that I've installed my apps. Little Google Assistant. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow? Rain is not expected tomorrow in Grand Blanc. The forecast is 52 degrees and cloudy. And then you can see that there's quick actions. Rain is not expected this weekend in Grand Blanc. The forecast is 53 degrees and partly cloudy. First impressions of the phone is it's extremely fast, even coming from the Nexus 6P and the iPhone 7 Plus. Show you a bit of a, a size comparison here. This is the Nexus 6P. You can see it's just a little bit taller. About the same width. 
course it has the back camera hump but both of them have the back finger sensor and here's a size comparison with an iPhone 7 Plus the iPhone 7 Plus is just a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier but when you add in the camera hump makes them about the same both of these are this one's black so matte black and this one's quite black and this is a size comparison with an iPhone 6 S so far the, the phone is fast opening applications is a breeze extremely fluid and there's only sound that comes out of one speaker so this isn't a dual speaker system they just do that for cosmetic reasons it's literally just this speaker so unfortunately if you plug that up it muffles the sound let me show you what I mean here Hey, what's going on everybody? Coach CWC coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm bringing you the review of the iPhone 7 Plus. So you have to be careful how you hold it. 56 gig mono. Accidentally get that finger just right. 6.63 ounces. It's IP67 certified. Beautiful water, screen though. Which means it's water resistant up to one meter and for 30 minutes. The display has an LED backlit IPS panel, which is a 5.5 Fantastic display. And the cool thing is, is you got multi-view mode, so you can uh, watch multiple apps at the same time. Love that ability. So for all you Samsung Note 7 people that are looking for something different, at least you can have some of the same cool features. The apps open extremely fast very smooth even transitioning between apps is flawless uh, the camera is really nice so if I double click the power button it's one of the quick actions very fast focus on this Takes nice pictures. This one I took earlier of my desk, just so I could see how the color comes out, and the color came out beautiful. You can see the chroma keyboard lit up back there, my blue lighting. Great, great quality. Google Assistant is nice. Also with this version, you do get tech support, which is nice. So the very first thing that I did when I got this is I chatted to him and I said, hey, how do I get the unlimited backups of 4K videos and pictures in original size just to see how they'd respond and they walked me through everything. Literally just click this chat button, put you in the queue if there's a queue, you describe your problem and they chat right to you. You can even work, do your other apps. It pops up, says, hey, they got a new message for you. Works great. So one of the nice draws of the Google Pixel line is the fact that it backs up all of your pictures and videos, unlimited data. So for instance, even though this is only a 32 gig version, the fact that I have unlimited cloud storage for my photos and pictures means I'll probably never fill this phone up. So you can see here that even with all of my applications installed, which was only 11 gigs, I mean, it still leaves me 20 gigs free. So with this, you also have moves, kind of like your Motorola phones. So you can see here where you can swipe for notifications. So I have that set up on the back. So if I swipe down on that fingerprint sensor, you can see that it pulls down my notification shade. Jump to camera, which I showed you earlier. If you double click on that, it'll jump to the camera. Now this is nice too. So once you have the camera mode, if you switch, uh, double flip your wrist, it'll actually go to selfie mode. So there you can see it's using the back camera. Double flip. Just like that. So I really like those features. 
Now the new app drawer, notice there isn't a button, you just swipe up anywhere on the bottom, opens up your app drawer. So in your photo apps, right here, if you go to backup and sync, you see this, it says full resolution photos and videos uploaded from your Pixel device get unlimited free storage. So that's pretty great. And that's going to do it for my initial unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe and share with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll make sure to answer them. And I'll see you guys on the next video.